Privacy Impact Assessments and Data Protection Impact Assessments, also known as DPIAs, are a process or tool that is used to identify and mitigate the risks of data processing activities. Several laws and frameworks around the world require these assessments for certain types of processing, and particularly processing operations that have the potential to result in high risks to individuals. They are also often recommended and are considered a key tool within the concepts of privacy by design and privacy by default. Key benefits are that they can help identify risks and appropriate security measures as well as ensuring ongoing compliance. The term DPIA is most commonly associated with the EU's GDPR, and whilst not only useful for many processing operations, can be mandatory in some situations. EU supervisory authorities have released lists of operations that require a DPIA, known as blacklists. And some have also issued lists of operations that do not require DPIAs, known as whitelists. The most common types of operations around the world that will require a DPIA are large-scale processing of sensitive data, extensive automated processing with significant potential effects for data subjects, processing which may result in a high risk to the rights and freedoms of data subjects, and international data transfers. The format of a PIA or DPIA can vary significantly between jurisdictions. However, typically such assessments will require a detailing of the processing operation or operations, a personal data inventory, a description of compliance measures, and risks and mitigations table. Some jurisdictions may also require that impact, risk, and probability scores are assigned. PIAs and DPIAs may also involve several different parties. Some laws, such as the GDPR, explicitly state that a data controller should seek the advice of their data protection officer, where applicable, when conducting a DPIA and that data processors should assist controllers in compliance obligations following a DPIA. Other legislative frameworks, including the Philippines, Singapore, and under the GDPR, among others, suggest that data subjects are consulted, where appropriate, as part of a DPIA. In certain complex cases, it may also be recommended to engage external experts to assist in completing a DPIA. In addition, some jurisdictions have set out obligations that organizations should consult with a supervisory authority when an assessment shows that there is potential for significant risks to data subjects. This process is sometimes referred to as prior consultation. The results of such consultation may range from a simple confirmation, advice from a supervisory authority, or even the suspension of processing. Organizations should review whether a PIA or DPIA is mandatory for the processing operation, examine guidance and templates issued by supervisory authorities, consult with any relevant stakeholders, complete the assessment by ensuring that there are appropriate mitigations for any risks, and, where applicable, consult with a supervisory authority on the results of the DPIA.